Hi, I am Patrick. Welcome to my secret tutorial series. And welcome! I will show you how you download and use our free bonus grades for speed grade and premium. Okay, first go to and town at slash block then click on shop here or on the yellow banner here you have the opportunity to buy stuff from Amazon through our affiliate shops for Austria Germany or US to get to the free looks just click on the TV looks banner and scroll all the way down to our TV looks package. Uh, you can get them for a nice price or the free bonus grading looks for Adobe Premiere and Speed Grade. Subscribe to our newsletter, jump to the subscription page. And fill in your email address, subscribe, and you will get the download link for the zip file with the bonus uh, looks for Speedgrade and Premiere in the newsletter email. And after you have downloaded the zip file, you just extract it. And in the directory is a readme file with a few infos, the look files for Speedgrade and Premiere and a presets file uh, which includes all the looks uh, for Premiere if you want to use them without Speedgrade. But you can modify the looks in Speedgrade afterwards of course. Okay, next step we start Premiere. We open our project. First thing is importing the presets. So open the effects panel uh, on the windows effects if it's not open uh, and import the presets. Uh, look for the downloaded and extracted directory and load the preset file. Uh, which includes all the presets. You find it under on the, on the, on the pr uh, standard presets. Just uh, uh, open the presets and in it is the end town bonus one presets. And just resize the, the panel a little bit so that you get the thumbnails from the presets. Um, yeah. We, we just could uh, drag and drop the, the presets onto the clip, but then we can't modify them much. So, delete the preset again and add a adjustment layer. And then position the adjustment layer in the video track above the, uh, the clip. I want to apply the, the, the presets, the look, and then just drag and drop the preset on the adjustment layer. And then you can modify, I disable the, the keyframing for this, for the opacity. Um, now you can just lower or increase the effect of the Lumetri effect with the opacity slider of the adjustment layer. The adjustment layer applies the look to the clip below. So if you have a, a bunch of clips uh, in the video track below the adjustment layer, you span the adjustment layer over all your clips and the look is over all 
your clips in the timeline. The T and O X is the teal and orange look. Uh, is a special one because it uses secondary color correction for skin tones and for the backgrounds and for the highlights. And uh, if you don't have speed grade, you're limited uh, with the usage of the teal and orange look. And you probably have to correct your clip so it matches the, the color ranges uh, selected in the, in the Lumetri effect. First we should correct the, the clip itself uh, to a base, a neutral look. So we go to the primary, take a look at the waveform monitor, especially at the parade, RGB parade. If it's not uh, activated, just activate it on clicking here and switch to the, with the right mouse button to the parade. And so this is a basic correction for the image. If it's not good, if, it's a, if it has a color cast on it or something, you have to correct it. So I use the offset for the blacks. The lower portion of the waveform is just above the zero line here. A little bit above it, especially the, the, the green. The green should be just above zero and then go to the gain and the gain on the upper portion of the waveform, the upper part of the waveform should be just touching just below 100%. Um, and then maybe you have to adjust the gamma. Uh, if you if you record it with, with S-Log or C-Log, you probably have to lower the gamma to a certain point. Uh, my image is already contrasty enough to be graded. Okay, then take a look at the colors. Uh, if there is any color cast in it, you use your temperature uh, and take a look at the whites especially. Uh, if they are shifted like this, just move your temperature slider so that the red and the blue are aligned. And now take a look at the magenta slider. If the whites are offset, uh, do the same thing align the green with the red and the blue. Okay, now we have a pretty neutral uh, look for a clip, a base look. And we can go on with the grading. Okay, and now i show you how you import the, the looks in speed grade, the looks presets. Uh, so I open the, the looks manager with this little icon, this square icon. Add a new tab. Uh, the new tab gets the same path as the previous one you had open. Um, so you just select your presets directory and select the bonus one looks for example and here we have our looks and now I lower the, the looks manager the looks manager uses only the a little portion of the panel uh, and we can comfortably choose the look we want and of course, you can modify the look as you like. And adjust the settings for your desire. 
So if you're happy with what you see, you click on the send to premier icon. This automatic automatically saves the premier project, opens premier, opens the premier project and the modified look is on the adjustment layer via Lumetri effect. So if you use Speedgrade, you can fine tune all the presets, the Lumetri effects you applied to the adjustment layer. Make sure you have your sequence active with the orange uh, border around it. Uh, go to File, Direct Link to Adobe Speedgrade. Uh, the project will be saved. Uh, Speedgrade automatically opens and opens the project. Okay, and now we are in Speedgrade and now we can fine-tune the look we applied. In this example, the um, uh, teal and orange look. Uh, so the look is on the adjustment, not on the clip, on the adjust, but instead on the adjustment layer on top of it. And the teal and orange has three layers. The first one, I disabled the, the bottom two, uh, the, the, the top two layers. So the first layer is just for the highlights the first secondary color correction. I named, I named this layer secondary HL for highlights. And it just goes for the highlights, for the lightness, for the brightest things in the image. And with a soft, a, a soft range, a little bit down below. And the hue, the, compute, the complete hue, all colors. And I disable the saturation, because I don't need the saturation. And I lowered the, the offset a little bit, so the white is not pure white, instead it's a little grayish. And then I colored it. Now the highlights are a bit more in, in skin tone direction. It's a little yellowish, brownish yellowish. And that, that is because we have very hot, uh, bright highlights in the hair and otherwise it would have strange effects for the for the hair we don't want. Uh, if you expose it differently, if you have a, a evenly lit image uh, with no brutal highlights, especially on the face uh, or on the hair, uh, you can disable the highlight uh, layer. So the next layer is the secondary background. In this, in this layer I selected all colors from the background except skin tone colors. If there are colors in the background which are similar to the skin tones you have to leave them as is and then minus, minus them, uh, exclude them from the color range or it will affect the, the skin itself of course. Uh, you could help yourself with a, with a mask, uh, but for now I will leave this just for the colors. Um, okay, so the, this, the, the secondary background is after I selected it, selected the colors for it, um, I, I adjust the offset a little bit in, into blue and then the gain a little bit, a little bit more in blue, into blue. So blue teal, blue teal color, and I lower the, the the gain intensity. So it's not that that bright. So the background is not that bright. Depends on what what your your clip looks like, what your scene looks like, and how it's lit. And finally, the secondary color correction for the skin. Of course, here are the the skin tones selected and you can modify the ranges of course if they don't match your your skin tones okay
Thanks for watching and have fun creating your videos with our looks. Bye bye.